My name is Ben Onik. I'm the founder and co-director of the Human Performance Lab at the University of Calgary in Canada. At the beginning of my career, I was in Zurich at the ETH, and I was the director of the biomechanics laboratory there. And then the University of Calgary approached me and asked me whether I would come and develop a center for movement research. The vision that the university leadership had at that time, that they said, we want to be strong in that area of human movement sciences. And it sounded really good, and I came, and uh, that's what we have now. The Human Performance Lab is a research center with about 175 members. And the uniqueness of that research center is that it has a multidisciplinary basis. The Human Performance Lab tries to answer questions that are relevant for human movement, exercise and sports. We have all the equipment that is state of the art. We have systems that measure the movement. So we have 12 camera systems that do that and collect that information. So we have in here everything from medicine, from engineering, from physics, from psychology, whatever you can use to quantify human movement we have here in the lab. The effect of our work on the development of MBT shoes I think is substantial. MBT has a, a, an interesting unit within the company which is called the Academy. And the Academy is basically the body that translates research finding into product ideas and so on. But in addition to that, we also have developed some methodologies that each new product that comes onto the market has to fulfill certain criteria. So we have helped that they have products that do the same thing over a long time. And I think that is the most important thing because, I mean, the MBT show is relatively expensive. And if it doesn't do what they say it does, that's a problem. But since we have developed that methodology to check that, every time they put a new product on the market, they have the insurance that these products will do the right thing. 3D gate analysis is a method that allows us to quantify the kinematics or the movement of the human body. When you look at a product like the MBT, you want to understand how this MBT changes the movement. This is Henrik, our test subject. He is standing currently on a force platform. A force platform is like a scale. It measures the forces acting on the feet of Henrik. In addition to that, he has these markers here. These markers are used to quantify the movement. So if he moves an arm a little bit, then these markers move, and we can quantify that, and we can then determine what the effect of these shoes is with respect to the movement of the body. The project that we were doing, we wanted to know how do people balance, and is that different if you wear an MBT shoe or not an MBT shoe. So what we did was we used standard motion uh, tracking systems where we can determine the, the motion and the posture of our subjects um, as, as they move. We then used a mathematical method to decompose that movement into different types of movements. We know that there are different strategies that we have when we balance ourselves. So another variable that's commonly of interest for us is muscle activity whenever we're measuring these sort of studies. Uh, the method that's commonly used is electromyography. So for the example we're showing here today, we use three different muscles. We have the tibialis anterior, peroneus longus, and gastrocnemius medialis while hence is walking. From here you can see the bursts of activity in the muscle as he walks, showing you that that muscle is active during that part of the gait of stance. So from there we can compare within walking or else in standing or different types of movements how much muscle activity we're seeing in different products. The data analysis is one of the important things why people come to us because 
We have developed methods that are state-of-the-art in the world. We are the leaders in that part of, of research. The basic concept of the MBT issue is that you have an unstable base. So that's something like a bubble board. You stand on your shoes and it's unstable. And because it's unstable, you have to adjust your muscle activity to stabilize yourself. And because you do that, you do more work and you train the muscles. The trend in the footwear industry is to provide support. The unstable footwear takes that support away and makes you work with those muscles. That means you use instability to have a training device. And the training device is the shoe. I think that everybody that is interested in movement, everybody that doesn't move enough should use MBT shoes.